Hello, thank you for watching Wirtschaft TV from the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. I'm Manuel Koch and joining me now is Ben Willis of Princeton Securities. Thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure, thank you. This week, we, everyone will look, uh, of course, to Washington, D.C. and on the Fed's decision. Do you expect the U.S. Central Bank r rising the interest rates? I am in a very small camp. There are only two of us for my, the count I've done. But yes, I think it's, it, it is still a strong possibility that the, our federal re FOMC will raise interest rates in June. I know there are not a lot of us, but I think that's the case. And the, the, the equity markets rallying the way they have are telling you, it's also telling Janet Yellen and her team, it's okay, we're good with it. So that means the economy is strong enough. Exactly. The economy is strong enough and everything they've looked at. You know, the, the, the talking heads and the people that I hear talk on, on, on the network saying uh, this jobs number was terrible. This is supposed to be a data-dependent Fed. If they were dependent on one point of, of information or on data throughout the, 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 this last eight years, they would, should have raised interest rates a year ago. So to point to one particular number that is, is a, an, I think, an anomaly and will be corrected by the next, next month is, I think, fool's play. And I think they've make it, made it very clear that they're going to rise rates. And if you're worried of whether it's June or July, you're a trader and it's very risky. If you're an investor, you're being told they're going to raise rates, so you shouldn't be in bonds. What does that mean uh, for like uh, investors or you know, people who would like to buy stocks? Should they buy before or after the Fed decision? I think you should be buying now. I think you should be doing a rotation out of your higher exposure, uh, shorter uh, maturity bond exposure, and taking money out of the, the non-performing uh, money market funds that you've been in and finding good stocks. I would I would strongly suggest dividend paying stocks. I think they will continue to benefit and as the economy appro appreciates, your principal will improve, so your, your rate of return will improve on the dividend you get and chances are if you're in the right stocks, they're going to increase their dividends as business get better too. Do you see any interesting sectors? Well, I, I think we, we're starting to see a rotation. What people may not realize is the utility sector is up 16% since the beginning of the year. Now, that's a, de that's a defensive area, that is, but that's a dividend-paying area. I don't think that falls apart. Right now, the, le the rally is being led by energy stocks because of oil. I don't like that play. I'd much rather concentrate on the financials, particularly the regionals, uh, the regional banks in the United States as a place, rather than the big money center banks because of their exposure to the dollar. I'd rather have the exposure to banks being banks. And as interest rates rise, that allows banks to be banks. Ben Willis of Princeton Securities, thank you so much. Appreciate your time. And thank you for watching Wirtschaft TV.